To create a simple circuit, first create a new design. Use the library on the right to drag and drop a new component. Example, for a network equivalent, we use the ideal voltage source and impedance. Double click on the device to open the mask and change the field values. In this case, because the balance box is checked, only phase A has to be set. The source short circuit impedance is modified in the next tab. Sequence data is used. Another way to find a device in the library is to use the all part option. In this case, devices are filtered by name instead of by library. For example, let's add in a Pi line. To connect the devices together, click on the first device pin, hold and drag to the next pin. Let's change the line input data using the sequence components. Sorry. Now we will add an ideal switch from the switches library. It is possible to connect the switch to a device by drag and dropping so the two pins are in contact. Move the device. You can see that the connection is done. The switch will be initially closed and will open at 100 milliseconds. Now let's add a RL load from the RLC library. Before placing the device, its orientation can be changed. To do that, double click on the device type in the library and use the keyboard arrows to rotate it. The rotation can also be done after the device is inserted in the design by right-clicking and choosing one of the rotation options. Shortcuts can be used. Let's modify the load input data. Please note, you can move the attributes field if they are in the way. Finally, let's add the ground. Our circuit is now built. To verify the connection, hold Control and double click on any components. Any other devices connected will be selected. If one is not selected, it is not connected. Thank you for watching this video. If you need more information or want to get informed when new content is released, please subscribe to our LinkedIn community and to our newsletter.